Hi, we're going to look at hacking now, what it is and the three main types of it. First of all, let's define it. So hacking is where we are accessing, well hopefully not we, somebody is accessing computer systems without using the normal means of access. In other words, they are exploiting some weakness in the system, the system being a computer, a network, or both, or a program, doesn't matter what it is necessarily, but there is some weakness which is being exploited and they haven't got normal means of access, which means they're not authorized. That means they haven't got a password, haven't got a login, they are kind of breaking in via some weakness. Now, I'm sure we've all seen portrayals of hackers on TV or in movies, often a young man or a teenage boy in a basement tapping frantically on a keyboard wearing a hoodie. These are stereotypes, of course, and actually I think one of the main misconceptions is that hackers are always these amazing computer whiz kids have got amazing knowledge of how networks work, how computers work, and of course that's really important, having technical skills to do this. But also, there does need to be some psychological skills, the ability to manipulate human, because often that weakness is coming from, at least partially, is coming from a human being exploited by the attacker. And if a hacker is just breaking into it, but often using some weakness coming from a human. We will look at social engineering in a future video, but bear in mind it's not just a technical feat, it also requires some psychological skills as well. It's also important to realise, I think, that not all cyber attacks do involve hacking. It's really common for people who don't know much about security to just say any whiff of a cyber attack is hacking or has been, uh, they've been hacked. Actually, you know, commonly it's just someone guessing a weak password, which isn't hacking per my definition, right? It's, uh, a password is a normal means of access. A hacker is somebody who's going to find another way through, which isn't the usual method. So I would argue just guessing a password and getting access to account that way is not hacking. Some people might disagree. The definition is a little bit disputed, but that's my personal take on it. What is more certain is that hackers are considered to be an external threat, which means they are a threat coming from outside of your organization. A hacker is not somebody who works for you, unless you are a firm which is a penetration tester. They're somebody else outside of your company which are trying to attack your company or attack yourself. So they are an external threat, not an internal threat. Now, in computing, we have a slightly weird way of classifying hackers. We consider them as having different hats, different coloured hats, which is just a metaphor for their motive, really. What are the motives behind hacking? Because actually, we associate hackers with being this really criminal, malicious, nasty person. But actually, it's not always the case. But what is malicious and nasty is a black hat hacker. So these are our more stereotypical hackers where they are breaking the systems with malicious intent. They're deliberately trying to steal, exploit and sell data. And this would be illegal, according to the Computer Misuse Act, and also unethical. Ethics are about what we think as a person is right or wrong, can be different to laws, but black hackers are these criminals who are doing it illegally and unethically. On the other end of the scale, we have a hacker, which is not a malicious hacker, a white hat hacker, is where the person has been given permission to hack into the system. Now, companies do this to identify weaknesses, it might be hard to just look at your own systems and figure out the weakness. It's better giving somebody else a chance to try and break in. If they can break in, you can react and fix that weakness. It's a fairly common practice nowadays. We'll look at it more regarding penetration testing in the future. But it's important to say this is legal and also ethical. And so this is not a threat, to be clear. I'm just mentioning this now because we are looking at hacking. This is not a threat. It's not an external threat. Now, admittedly, a white hat hacker is sort of breaking my definition of a hacker, which is not ideal, but they are still hackers because they're not using normal means of access. The company paying this person to hack into it is not given passwords or logons or access to the building. They are not allowed normal means of access. They're trying to find another way to break in. So it's still a hacker. It's just not doing it without permission. Between a black hat and a white hat hacker, we have a grey area, so we have a grey hat hacker, somebody who's maybe not incredibly malicious and incredibly criminal, but they are doing it usually for their own challenge or their own enjoyment or to troll people, to try and cause people harm by finding it funny and so on. So depending on the context, this may be illegal and or unethical, it just depends really and often depends on how malicious that attacker is being. Are they doing it just for a laugh and it's not really affecting anybody or is it more serious and it is causing harm? It just depends. It's a little bit less clear cut in this case than a black hat or a white hat.